Hello and welcome to Mint's weekly corporate roundup. We have our Mint reporters with us who will take us through the major happenings uh, last week. Uh, to start with, let's see what's happening with infrastructure firm GMR Limited. Uh, the company had some fundraising uh, announcements made this week, and we have uh, PR Sanjay with us. Uh, Sanjay, GMR with already a lot of debt has again announced some fundraising plans and some complex structures. Uh, can you tell us readers what exactly it is? So, in simple terms, GMR infrastructure. Uh, the bangalore based infrastructure conglomerate uh, has announced a 1500 uh, uh, 1, crore rights issue where all shareholders will equally uh, you know subscribe to it so which is a, a method where uh, you know there's no uh, dilution in stakeholding but in this case uh, you know kkr the private equity uh, firm will uh, invest in a uh, long term structured finance in the promoter company of GMR uh, infrastructure which is GMR Holdings. So GMR Holdings currently uh, holds uh, around 54% in the flagship company which is GMR infrastructure. So with that money GMR infrastructure promoters will buy the uh, uh, around 1000 crore worth of uh, rights issue and rest this 500 crore will be subscribed by the promoters. So there is no uh, you know uh, dilution of uh, shareholdings and uh, in case if some of the in existing shareholders are not uh, willing to buy that then promoters will have to chip in where the uh, shareholdings of GMR Holdings the promoter family group will go up to 62 percent in case so in, in simple terms promoters are getting 1000 crore from KKR to buy at least 1000 crore worth of rights issue uh, and uh, that will uh, uh, around 1250 crore will go to uh, reduce their you know debt. Thanks, Sanjay. So, looks like it's really interesting uh, the strategy that is uh, adopted by GMR to reduce debt. Uh, let's move on to the metal sector. Uh, we saw aluminium maker Hindalco uh, close some of its mines uh, last week, and we have our reporter Ruchira Segmedas. Uh, Ruchira, uh, uh, what is happening with the mines? Are they closed, and what are some of the reasons uh, for that? Uh, yes, so we had a story on uh, Hindalco's bauxite mines in Jharkhand. It has a handful of these mines, it has nine of them. And uh, we confirmed that five of these mines have closed down. Uh, so that really hits the company hard because it is in the process of expanding its uh, aluminium production. It's almost doubling its uh, production capacity for aluminium. And uh, towards the end of this year, it could be producing more than one million ton of aluminium. So this comes at a bad time. So five bauxite mines gone. One analyst says that uh, the, all of these five put together accounted for about 45% of their bauxite supplies in this state. So, so it has uh, hit the company hard and we also had a Bloomberg report saying that the company may have postponed its uh, fundraising plan. It wanted to raise funds to repay or prepay um, some of its debt and also for general corporate purposes. Uh, so we need to watch out on that. Its share prices have also <coughs> taken a beating. But there's nothing much the company can do about these mines because the government has to take a call on what it wants to do with them. Thank you, Ruchira. Uh, looks like times are uncertain for Hindalco. Uh, from metals to IT, uh, we saw that uh, Co Cognizant Limited had a major acquisition last week and we have our IT reporter Beryl with us. Uh, Beryl, can you tell our readers what was the acquisition all about? Yeah, hi. Um, so uh, uh, Nasdaq listed Cognizant uh, on Monday announced it's one of its largest ever deals with uh, healthcare company Trizetto Corporation in the US for $2.7 billion. So uh, basically the company has said that uh, this will give uh, Cognizant an additional revenue of $1.5 billion in the next five years. Uh, this deal was important for Cognizant because uh, the company has for the first time uh, showed a slowdown in its uh, revenue um, as reported uh, uh, in its uh, last quarter results on June 30th and uh, that's because of a uh, fall in its largest vertical which is BFSI. So basically it's expecting the healthcare vertical to uh, kind of boost its revenue and uh, with the health a health net deal uh, which was a seven year agreement that it's announced at its quarterly results in June. Uh, together with that and Trizetto, uh, the run rate for the healthcare vertical for Cognizant is expected to be $3 billion uh, in 2015 as compared to $2.5 billion in uh, calendar year 2014. Thanks, Beryl. Uh, quite an eventful week this was. Uh, please visit www.liveman.com for more such timely updates on the corporate sector. Thank you.